Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice, members of the Senate. Well, I had kind of a lengthy presentation prepared, but I think, I think you've heard a lot from our side, and I think we've made our case. And so I just want to leave you with a couple of points. First of all, first of all, thank you, Mr. Leader, and thank you, Democratic Leader Schumer, and all of you for the privilege of speaking on the floor of the Senate and for your time and attention. We really appreciate it. We've made three basic points. One, all you need in this case is the Constitution and your common sense. You just look at the articles of impeachment. The articles of impeachment fall far short of any constitutional standard and they are dangerous. And if you look to the words from the past that I think are instructive, as I said last night, they're instructive because they were right then and they're right now. And I'll leave you with some of those words. There must never be a narrowly voted impeachment or an impeachment supported by one of our major political parties and opposed by the other. Such an impeachment will produce the divisiveness and bitterness in our politics for years to come and will call into question the very legitimacy of our political institutions. This is unfair to the American people. By these actions, you would undo the free election that expressed the will of the American people in 1996. In so doing, you will damage the faith the American people have in this institution and in the American democracy. You will set the dangerous precedent that the certainty of presidential terms, which has so benefited our wonderful America, will be replaced by the partisan use of impeachment. Future presidents will face election, then litigation, then impeachment. The power of the president will diminish in the face of the Congress, a phenomenon much feared by the Founding Fathers. This is a constitutional amendment that we are debating, not an impeachment resolution. The Republicans are crossing out the impeachment standard of high crimes and misdemeanors, and they are inserting the words any crime or misdemeanor. We are permitting a constitutional, constitutional coup d'etat, which will haunt this body and our country forever. I warn my colleagues that you will reap the bitter harvest of the unfair partisan seeds you sowed today. The constitutional provision for impeachment is a way to protect our government and our citizens, not another weapon in the political arsenal. I expect history will show that we've lowered the bar on impeachment so much. We have broken the seal on this extremely extreme, extreme penalty so cavalierly that it will be used as a routine tool to fight political battles. My fear is that when a Republican wins the White House, Democrats will demand payback. You were right. <laughs> but I'm sorry to say you were also prophetic. And I think I couldn't say it better myself, so I won't. You know what the right answer is in your heart. You know what the right answer is for our country. You know right, what the right answer is for the American people. What they are asking you to do is to throw out a successful president on the eve of an election with no basis and in violation of the Constitution. It would dangerously change our country and weaken, weaken forever all of our democratic institutions. You all know that's not in the interest of the American people. Why not trust the American people with this decision? Why tear up their ballots? Why tear up every ballot across this country? You can't do that. You know you can't do that. So I ask you to defend our Constitution, to defend fundamental fairness, to defend basic due process rights, but most importantly, most importantly, to respect and defend the sacred right of every American to vote and to choose their president. The election is only months away. 
the American people are entitled to choose their president. Overturning the last election and massively interfering with the upcoming one would cause serious and lasting damage to the people of the United States and to our great country. The Senate cannot allow this to happen. It is time for this to end here and now. So we urge the Senate to reject these articles of impeachment for all of the reasons we have given you. You know them all. I don't need to repeat them. They've repeatedly said over and over again, a quote from Benjamin Franklin, it's a republic if you can keep it. And every time I heard it, I said to myself, it's a republic if they let us keep it. And I have every confidence, every confidence in your wisdom You will do the only thing you can do, what you must do, what the Constitution compels you to do. Reject these articles of impeachment for our country and for the American people. It will show that you put the Constitution above partisanship. It will show that we can come together on both sides of the aisle and end the era of impeachment for good. You know it should end. You know it should end. It will allow you all to spend all of your energy and all of your enormous talent and all of your resources on doing what the American people sent you here to do, to work together, to work with the President, to solve their problems. So this should end now as quickly as possible. Thank you again for your attention. I look forward to answering your questions. And with that, that ends our presentation. Thank you very much.